Hi everybody and welcome again to the Power Ads from Zero to Hero series. In today's video, we're going to show you how to uh, use the display form in order to view items from the customer's gallery, right? Uh, in next videos, we're going to start working on the different actions like how to create a new item, edit or delete an existing item that comes from a particular gallery. So let's dive into it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, create a new screen. So let's select a new blank screen. And now let's rename this screen. Uh, so click here and rename. I'm going to put customers uh, detail screen. So basically this screen is going to be shows. Uh, we're going to use this screen to, to show the details of the customer. Now the idea is that when I click on this icon, I should open that screen, right? So to start, let's do some customization to this screen. I'm just going to reuse this uh, header. So I'm just going to copy the rectangle and the title. Let me copy this. And let's paste, this, paste it here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change this title. So uh, in the text property, instead of sales opportunity management app, I'm going to change that text to, to customer detail, customer details. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to add uh, some icons. So I'm going to add the edit icon, also the trash icon to remove a particular, particular item, then I'm going to use the, this left icon to, to go back to the home screen. So I'm just going to position these, these icons here. And then we can select all of those icons and apply some of the, add some values to the properties. For example, for the color, we are going to use the white color. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's go to the home screen. And uh, first I'm gonna resize this rectangle because what I'm gonna do is click on this icon and the idea is that when I click on that icon, we should go to the customer detail screen. So in the on select method, we are going to add navigate to the customer detail screen and just select the transition. It's gonna be the cover transition. Okay, great. Now if I, we preview, we can see that when we click here, we are going to the customer details. But the idea is that when I click on that icon, we should go back to the home screen, right? So just change the on select uh, method. So, so when I click on that icon, we should navigate to the home screen. Um, use the fade transition for, for this opportunity. Okay, we preview. So when I click here, we go to the home screen. When I click on the icon, we come back to the customer details screen. Now I'm going to add a form. This is going to be a display form. So we click here and now we can resize this form. It's empty by now, but then we need to obviously select the data source, right? So I'm going to select the data source. It's going to be the customer data source. So you see, when I click on this customer data source, we see the properties. We can select the, num the number of columns we want to show. By now it's three. Let's keep that for now. Uh, so the data source property is the name of the data source. And the items property is basically the value we're going to show in this, uh, in this form. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the customer's gallery and the property selected, which basically means that I'm going to show the item who has been selected from the customer's gallery, right? So when I click, uh, when I go back to the home screen, we can see the list of the, um, of the customers. I select one of them and you can see now we see the, the item related to the one item that has been selected. If I select this other customer, again, the values have been updated. So really easy and quickly to configure this form. Now we need to do some customization, right? So let me select again this form 
and we can edit the properties. You see, when I click on edit fields, we are gonna see all the fields that, the, that are shown in this form, uh, but we can do customization, right? For example, let me remove some of the items. I, I don't wanna see some of the fields. You wanna see the most important fields. So for example, we can also reorder, right? We, if we drag and drop the fields, we can reorder them. Okay, so let me do some, some reorders and remove some of the fields. For example, I don't wanna see the email of the, of the different resources that are working on the sales team. I'm just gonna remove all those email fields and uh, let me put the, at the bottom the, the prior, prioritize field okay it looks better uh, and now we can add custom cards right the custom cards are going to allow me do uh, some add some custom controls so basically a, uh, this data card is a, a custom section just let me resize this section so the width is going to be two 250 the high 140 okay so now we can also add uh, additional custom cards i'm just gonna add these additional custom cards in order to put the different fields more centered between the form right so uh, if we add those data cards we can put position them between the fields and resize them i'm gonna put this width and this height and now you can see that the fields are have been centered right between the form if we select the fields we can also customize them we just need to click on advanced then on unlock this property and after that we can change the their values for example the text for this title field that for the label is going to be customer name but i not only can change the text we i can change also the font for example so let's change the font. Again, I'm using these uh, labels that already exist on my on my template screen. Uh, for the size, let's put by now 16, for example. Let's change the color. The color could be also the same. Let's reuse it, this label that already has all the properties set. And uh, let's put this field as a bolt or semi bolt, and we can do any adjustment that we want. We want, right? And the same we're gonna do with the also the value. So the the parent point default is the, the is a default value. That's okay. But for the rest of the properties, for example, for the font, we can do the same, right? We can uh, apply the font that we want, the size that we want. So when we preview, now we see that this has changed, right? That's that's great. Now uh, we need to do the same for all of the fields from the from this control. Uh, but let's do that for this prioritized field. Um, in this case, for the display mode, we're gonna change the uh, edit display mode uh, to be instead of that the disable this the displayed mode. Um, that will show me the the toggle field or the toggle control uh, as disabled, right? But after finishing, let me let's let this customer, for example, which is not prioritized, and uh, let's change it's some of the other properties. For example, for the false text, it's it should be no, and for the true text. It should be yes, right? So true text, let's change that to yes. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's good. That's better. Now, if we, for example, preview, we're gonna look the changes, and that is, that is how it should look after the customizations. Okay, guys, I hope this content was useful for you. In our next video, we're going to start working with the edit form. So we're going to look at how can we edit an item from the customer's gallery, as well as how can we create a new item to this gallery. So see you in our next videos. Bye.